I'm in the city, we bringing it home, you know what I said, eh? Two up, two down, yeah, that's the state, but I'm from the town, eh? You I mean, if we being real right now, sometimes it ain't everybody else. Sometimes it's your ass. It's your realtor's favorite realtor. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate. It's your boy Dean, back with another video. You could, please, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share this with your friends, help me, help y'all. It's actually Halloween. About to go trick or treating with the kiddos tonight. I had to show some houses this morning, so riding around, getting it. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know I just be talking up here, but you ever dealt with somebody that always had a negative attitude about everyone and everything and anything, bro? Like, they always be like, man, this person treating me like this, or I'd be ahead if this person won't there, or my job holding me down, bro. Like, just a negative Nancy person, bro. Like, I can't stand negative Nancy people. But the sad part about it is, Nine times out of ten, it don't be nobody else. It be that person. They just build an imaginary hell that they put themselves into, and they feel as though they can't get out because of everybody else. I highly doubt it's everybody else, bro. Sometimes, it's you. To kind of add on to this, I thought about a story the other day where I had to check myself. You know, every once in a while, you got to check yourself. This is a true story. I lied to you not. This happened. A couple years ago, me and the old lady had just bought the house. This particular day, she had to go to work and I was off of work. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna wake up. I ain't got nothing to do today. Instead of staying home and playing the game all day like I normally would, I knew the grass needed to be cut. So I said, I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna cut the grass. I want to be productive today. I wake up, I cut the backyard, I cut the front yard, edge the grass, I clean everything up. It take me legit like about a solid like four hours to do everything. I'm tired, I go in the house, I take a shower, I put on house clothes. If you don't know what house clothes are, you won't brought up like I was. House clothes is basically clothes you only wear at home. Like you might have a pile of clothes that you don't wear in public, you just wear at home. I'm kind of tired, I've been in the, the yard all day and I decided to go in the garage because I'm organizing stuff. We, like I said, we just moved into the house so I'm kind of still organizing stuff. So I really don't know too much people in the neighborhood at this point in time. And the mailman drives past. And instead of the mailman putting mail in the mailbox and me having to go get it later, I mean, kind courtesy, I see the mailman pulling up. I'm in the garage, doors open. I'm gonna go get the mail from his hand. So I'm walking to the mailman. I say, hey, how you doing? I'm reaching my hand out for the mail. The mailman kind of looks at me like this, like, there you go. And then goes on about his business. So me, I turned ultimately into an overthinker. I'm like, yo, what's, what's up with bro? Like, why why he look at me like that? You know what I'm saying? So I, I automatically start putting questions in my head. Like, yo, like, what's, what's up with this dude? It ticked me off a little bit, but I let it go. I'm still in the garage. We had a package come from UPS. I see him park in front of the house. He drops the package in front of the door. I peek my head out the garage like, hey, yo, appreciate it. He looks back at me and he like, so that's two times in the same day. Like this is within like an hour of each other that people kind of looking at me funny. And I ultimately, you know, I'm starting to get aggressive. I'm, I'm getting a little hot at this point. I'm like, yo, like, what's up with people in my new neighborhood? Like, is it a problem or something? Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's, what's wrong with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are everybody looking at me crazy? And I'm getting irritated at this point. So my wife calls me from work. She's on her lunch break. And we just talking, I'm asking her how work going and stuff like that. She asked me how the yard going. I'm like, yeah, I finished cutting the grass, but I don't know what's up, but like people have been looking at me crazy all day. Like, and it's starting to get on my nerves. She's like, Yo, what you talking about? I'm like, nah, like for real, people kind of try. Like, I feel like people playing with me. I don't like being played with. And she like, yo, I think you kind of just, you might be overthinking something. I'm like, yo, like I know when, when people are looking at me funny, like I ain't stupid. All right, she said, all right, we'll talk about when we get home. So I go in the house, I'm tired, I take a nap. I wake up to the door opening, you know, my wife coming home. So I get up and walk to the door. I open up the door, I meet her at the front door. And she looks at me and she busts out laughing. Like she was weak as hell, like she busts out laughing. And I'm like, yo, like, what's so funny? Like, cause I'm still thinking about, you know, what I was thinking about before I went to sleep. And she was like, yo, look at you, yo. Like, look at you. What are you talking about? 
right, y'all remember when I told y'all after I took a shower, I put on my house clothes? So I had a wife beater on the whole day. I just threw a wife beater on. Tell me why the wife beater I picked up had a hole where my nipple was at. Bro, I spent the whole day exposing my nipple to random people. That's why they was looking at me like that. And I made up this whole situation of everybody looking at me sideways or everybody had an attitude when the whole time my nipple out here on full blast. Long story short, sometimes it ain't everybody. It's your ass. Check your clothes before you put it on, man. I see y'all in the next video. Go. On. Bitch, I've been ballin' like I'm hard and check out the stats. Ay. I'm with the gang and we in the section, you know where we at. Ay.